testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. Yep. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم. Who wants to be a millionaire? When I was seven years old, my favorite show ever on TV. There were two of them. The first was Wheel of Fortune. The second was called Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. There was a Host named Regis Philbin, and he would interview guests and ask them questions. And the more that they got right, the more chance they had to win a million dollars. Oh man, I would sit there and I would watch it, and I would try to study, and it would be my favorite. And I always thought, I always wondered, what if? What if we could create a Muslim game show? A game show for Muslim boys and girls all around the world, where you can win one million dollars. Well, we are creating a game show today, but we we're not giving away a million dollars. Okay, we're not there yet. <laughs> we we have to do more fundraising before we get there. But Alhamdulillah, tonight we're doing our first. Ramadan 2023 game show night, and we're only doing it on YouTube. So if you're joining us from Zoom, we'll ask you to come on to YouTube. Um, the website is youtubecom kids. So our program is only on YouTube. If you're joining us on Zoom, we're really sorry, but the program is going to be on YouTube. And with that, let's go ahead and get started with the program for today. <music> Thank you. 
Assalamu alaikum, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and I even see. I see a little boy who needs a haircut, and、uh, I see Kothar Noor, and I see Zain Ali. Masha Allah, we've got some people in the studio with us today. Today, Alhamdulillah, we are doing our first game show night of the year, 2023, and. It's not just these guys that you're gonna get to meet. You're gonna be able to get to meet someone who I love and care for a whole lot. My wife, she's gonna be my special guest. But before we actually go into the game show night, I want to talk about some of the gifts, and that's why I have these two beautiful boys and girls with me. One lucky one of you is going to win them. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> We're not gonna give you guys away. We're gonna rent them out for a couple of hours. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. We're not gonna rent them out for a couple of hours. Okay.、Um, no. So, inshallah, today we are going to be giving away a number of things. We're gonna be giving away a backpack like this. Zayli, can you smile while you model it? When you smile, ooh. <laughs> A Norkids backpack with 25 books. All right, so that's going to be for our first place winner. A Norkids backpack with 25 <laughs> books,、um, and、uh, you'll also get a T-shirt. Can we get a look at his T-shirt right over here? A Norkids <laughs> T-shirt. Yep, very good.、Um, our second place winner is going to be getting a Norkids、uh, puzzle. We just created the Muslims Inventing Our World puzzle. Kothar was actually the one who was making it on the intro video. Uh, and then the third place, we're going to be giving a backpack with three books,、um, and inshallah, it'll be a ton of fun. So, with that said, I want to say thank you to my helpers. Thank you, you guys. Thank you so much. You guys did a great job. Now we are going to go into the library, or as some like to say, el biblioteca,、um, that is library in Spanish,、uh, where I'm going to be meeting a special friend. All right, let's go. I'm muted. Yep, I am. Yes, okay. All right. Hey, assalamu alaikum, everyone. Welcome, welcome to the library. Uh, you'll notice that the library is looking a little bit brighter today, a little bit more beautiful, perhaps as well. And the reason why is because I have something new in my library. Of course, that is a copy of my. No, that's not why. It's because I have my wife, Sister Sunny, Sana Aser here. Sana, can you say salam alaikum to everyone? Assalamu alaikum, everyone. So, Sister Sana, can I call you that? Is that what you like to be called? Sure. Sister Sana,、um, Sister. how excited are you about first the Ramadan camp and the game show night that I'm about to pull up right now? Oh, it's very exciting. I mean, those prizes you showed, and and you could see how excited the kids were.、Um, there are things that they can use. You know, they'll enjoy them.、Um, so yeah, excited to see who wins. And wh what about the tree? Do you like coming to the treehouse? It's beautiful, mashallah. It's be what's your favorite part? Did you see the? Did you hear? We have like a gnome who's living in the treehouse. Gnome. Yeah, yesterday he he showed up. It was crazy. Oh, the gnome named Hassan. Yep,、yeah. that's right. <laughs> that's right. Did you see? So, I mean, there's a lot of fun things in the treehouse. Some some of them unexpected. You know, you just don't really know. Uh, what's gonna happen? What What is your favorite part of the treehouse, Sunny? Um, I think the lights around, like especially right around the treehouse, are just really magical. I think it really transforms the space, and I I love it. And it reminds me of Ramadan, and that's why we're here. It reminds me of Ramadan too. Now it still is under construction, so we're still working on it. But Alhamdulillah. All right, so the kahoot is up. I'm gonna share my screen over here, so that way you guys can join. Um, the game pin is five four nine eight nine two eight. So you go to kahoot dot it and you're able to join there.、Um, and Jake, we've closed the Zoom, right? All right, cool. Because tonight there is no Zoom. We learned this the hard way. If you're on Zoom, you get the questions earlier than the people on YouTube. Yeah. And then that's not fair. 
And then there's like people who are like, Brother Ravid, Brother Ravid, that's just not fair, you know? And then it's a big problem, you know? And then my voice starts to get really dramatic. Hey, this is, so this, this is my normal voice, guys. Like, <laughs> you, you normally, you have a range, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. What, what, is, what does it sound like? Can you no, do an impression? No, no. I, am <laughs> not, I did not sign up to do impressions of you. <laughs> Please, honey, come on. The kids, they're, they're looking. We have Anisha and and uh, Amir. Amir's message to say, please, for the sake no, of the children, they're please. They're here for the good. <laughs> they're not here for my impression. They're saying, sister, son, please, for the sake of everything that is good, please. No. Now, here's the thing. We're going to run into an issue in about seven seconds. We have the largest subscription of Kahoot that money can buy. And Kahoot can only tolerate 1,000 people. And we are at 900. So if you end up not joining, it's not going to be very good. All right, so Sister Sunny, you're not just my wife and the mother of my children. You are also the educational director at North Kids. What, is, what does that mean? So what is your job at North Kids? My job um, started with a lot of research to figure out even what we want to teach and how we want to teach it um, to children. So um, did a bunch of research. You know that wheel that Amin likes to spin? Oh, uh, the wheel that I like to spin? What? So that wheel. I, you, we might even be able to spin it. Oh, you, maybe. I don't know. It might be there. Let's see if we can get that shot. If it's Oh, there it is, Sunny. Can you, can you spin that? Okay, but Sunny, spin it like you mean it. Like you mean it. Woo! Allahu Akbar. It's such a satisfying sound. It's yeah. so good. Do it again. 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 Do it. For the kids. Yeah. <laughs> yes. 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 So are you telling me you are the one who created this wheel? Alhamdulillah. Yeah. So the research um, told us, you know, what topics were important to cover. And you'll notice that we have different colors on the wheel and they correspond, they match up to the book, right? Blue, yellow, and green. Um, and that's because we follow this curriculum. And so the blue books are around character, akhlaq. And then the green books are around um, Islamic beliefs. Like, for example, making our way to Mecca, which is about Hajj. And then our yellow books are around um, citizenship. So, for example, we have agents of change. So this is about how we interact with the world around us as Muslims. So all of these topics we cover in our books, um, and each book has um, has one of the themes, and then there's two stories on that theme. All right, so here's what we're going to do. We are going to go ahead and get started. I've locked the meeting, so I think everyone who wanted to join has had the opportunity to join. It looked like there was some one person who was trying to play a little bit of games to try to you know uh, get around or whatever. But we've given a couple of moments for people to join. Uh, alhamdulillah, uh, people have joined. We have about 1,420 people, of which three of them are going to be big winners, big, big winners. Uh, so let's go ahead and start. You ready? Let's do it. All right. Um, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Question number one, or numero uno, as they say in Espanol, um, that's Spanish, um, Wahid in, in Arabic. Uh, what is the banquet that all of us have been invited to? Is it, number one, uh, an elementary school? Is it, number two, a holiday break? Is it, number three, a means living room in the treehouse? Or, number four, is it the month of Ramadan? What is the banquet that we have been invited to? All right, so Sister Sana, do you have a... How is a book made? What's the actual process to make a book? It also starts with research. Um, so the the theme, so for example, one of the topics, we'll look at that theme um, from Quran and Hadith. We'll do a bunch of research on that topic. And once we really understand that topic from an Islamic perspective, um, and of course that goes through, uh, we have an Islamic researcher on the team who does that research and we you know consult with shuyukh, um scholars who can advise us on that topic as well. And once we've kind of gotten a really good understanding of it, then we're able to figure out what are the two most important lessons about that topic that we want to teach through our book. 
So you That's do. The first step. So the first step is you do this research. So say for example, topics gratitude. We do a bunch of research. Talk to the scholars. We come up with two morals of the story, and then what happens? Those two morals of the story, uh, those two lessons become morals of the story. So each book, like I mentioned, has two stories, right? So those two um, lessons um, become the two morals of the story. Then those lessons are shared with our writers. Um, we have. Amar, who um, actually comes up with plots. Amar Habib. Amar, Amar Habib. Habib. All right, I'm going to pause you right there because we have our first question is done. Almost everyone got that right. The banquet that all of us have been invited to is bum, ba, dum, the month of Ramadan. MashaAllah. Almost everyone got that right. Uh, we have Hiba Rahim, okay, known suspect there. We've seen her a couple. She's She's been doing pretty well the last couple of years, okay. Zaki in fourth place. Haven't seen him yet. This is his first time on the leaderboard. Reh. Reh. Number three, Aisha, Mariam, and Fatima, three sisters working together as a team. We'll see how that turns out from. And in the pole position, we have Hamza Ahmad, who has picked a... A cat with headphones as her character. MashaAllah, very good. All right, Lola. Anything can happen at this point. Anything can happen. We'll go to question number two. Question number two of 12. When we fast during the month of Ramadan, what do we feed? Is it A, our soul? B, our self-esteem? C, our happiness? Or D, our pet gerbil? <laughs> Pretty sure it's a gerbil. Oh, gerbil. Sorry. That's why she's the editor, not me. I said Gerbil. I knew it. I knew it. All right. So research is done. Research goes to the plot developer, Amar Habib. So Amar comes up with two or even more um, really good um, ideas for what the stories could be. And he actually works with this guy, um, Amin Asir, master storyteller, to <laughs> make sure that those <laughs> plots that he's come up with are um, are excellent stories and that they actually teach the lesson that we want to teach in a very fun but effective way. So after those stories get written, those plots, plots. Mm -hmm. so that's part number two. What's part number three? Part number three is those plots, once they're finalized, those get shared with our other writer, Mariam, and she actually drafts um, the script. So that's literally, you know, what is being said um, by the, you know, the narrator, Amin, his dad, you know, whoever the characters are in the story, it's literally what they're going to say. Um, so that script is uh, written out and every word has to be perfect because that's what's going to be actually printed in the book. And you know, the other thing too, that's like important to know, right? Like it's not that easy because you have to be thinking about, well, hold on for a four to nine year old. Are they going to be able to understand what's going on here? Also, we don't want to have too many words on a page. And so, and that gets edited over and over and over and over again. All right, very good. And then there's one last part towards making a book and we'll do that in the next question. So almost everyone got this right. Uh, the answer is our soul. Very good. We feed our soul. Uh, during the month of Ramadan through the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Very good. We actually talked about this this morning. Many of you guys may not have known. We have programs at 11 o'clock in the morning, um, Minnesota time on Saturday and Sundays as well. All right. So Hiba Rahim going from number five to number two. Wow, Hiba, I'm looking at you. Masha Allah. Hafsa Ahmed still in number one. Fatima Ghali, known suspect right there. She's been on the leaderboard for many years, this is not her first time around. She's a pro at this. You're Sumi, but we have Sumi with an exclamation mark. All right, very good. Number four, and Zaki. Number five, Ibrahim from Wisconsin. That can't be right. This can't be. Anything is possible. Anything is possible. All right, let's go. Question number three of 12. When we look in the sky to know when the... What do we look for in the sky to know when the month of Ramadan starts? Is it for no moon? Is it the Hilal? Is it for a full moon? Is it a shooting star? We talked about this on day one. All right. So back to the development of a story. Research, plot, manuscript, and what is the fourth and final stage? Well, there's like four and five. Okay, so, four and five, sorry. So the fourth 
um, stage is illustration. Um, so we have our awesome um, studio, Petra Bach Studio, based in Indonesia, and they have been with us since the beginning. Since the beginning, 10 years. Yep, making our characters look adorable and funny and angry and all of these different emotions with their cartoon. Um, so this manuscript gets shared with, um, with them, and they bring it to life um, through illustration. So that is step number four. So we have research, then we have plot development, then we have manuscript, then we have illustration. What is the fifth and final piece? Fifth step is editing and just revision, any changes you want to make to the illustration, to the text, any and all changes you want to make before that gets printed. Now, Sister Sunny, author, um, how many book, how many stories does Nora Kids have? We have over 150 stories. I'm sorry, what did you say? Over 150 stories. I, I don't think I heard you. Did you just say over 100 and what? 50. Allahu Akbar, la ilaha illallah. 150 yeah, stories? I mean, we can't even carry all of our North Kids books, mashallah. There's quite a few stories now. Mashallah. All right, so you guys, some of you guys got this one wrong. All right, let's talk about this. This is educator, right? So remember when we talked about the moon? We can look at the moon the same way we look at a clock. All right. At the very beginning of the month, we know that there's a month when there's just a tiny little moon, a tiny little moon. It's called the Hilal. And every subsequent day, the moon gets a little bit bigger until it's a full moon. When it's a full moon, that means half of the month is over. It's like we're at six o'clock on a timer. And then it starts to get smaller again until there's no moon at all. And then when we see the crescent again, that means the next month has started. So when we look up, even today, we'll see that the moon is going to be small, but not teeny tiny because it's like the fourth day of Ramadan now. And every day that passes, it's going to get a little bit bigger. But mashallah, most people got that right. Very good. Oh, no. We, we lost Hiba. We lost Hiba. She's gone. But Fatma Ghali, number three. Sui, number one. The Zayn family, number two. Yara, Yara's a known suspect. Yeah. She's from Alabama. She comes all the time. Mariam Taiba, number four. Okay, very good. And when I, by the way, say known suspects, outside of Ramadan, we do programs on Thursday nights, stuff like that. And so you come off and you get good at this. You know what brother means about that. You know what I'm saying? All right, question number four of 12. In the book, Thanks a Million, we learned that gratitude can be a proper noun or item, an adjective or a description, a verb or an action, or a subject, person, place, or thing. Sister Sunny Hussein Asr, um, many of the kids have been wondering, um, what is your favorite book? It is difficult to choose because each of them is like a child of mine because we've been seeing it through all of these different phases and working hard on it. Um, but I would say one of my favorites um, is The Perfect Planner. Can you give me the stack of books and see if we have it? You have a stack. Oh, I have a stack. Oh, my gosh. Here. Is it in there? I don't know. This is just a random yeah. hodgepodge of books that I have here. The chances. The chances are... No, we nope. don't have it. Can you pick one of these ones as your favorite <laughs> book? Because we got a lot of books here. Oh, Forgive and Forget is a good one. Forgive and Forget is yeah, a good one? Forgive right. and Forget is a good one. They're all good ones. They're all really good. That's so what, what do you like about Forgive and Forget? I just think that it's it's such a important topic and it's something that not only children need to, you know, learn about and practice and improve on, but even adults. Um, it's good for everybody. And I, I learned so much when we created this book. Um, for example, you know, like there's there's different steps when, when you make a mistake or, you know, you've done something wrong. There are different steps to take. Um, and to actually like learn about what does Islam say on that topic is really helpful um, and, and something I can practice in my own life. So that's why I really liked it. So you're saying that when you make a mistake, Sana, you ask for forgiveness? I try. I practice. Um, inshallah, I'm going to get better. But I do. I do. I mean. Can we all say Amin? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. It's a joke. It's a joke. It's a joke. <laughs> She's my wife. We, we both, you know, we gotta, we make a mistake, that's forgiven. All right. So look, um, in Thanks a Million, yes, we saw this little horse called a fawn. Foal. A foal, okay, a foal who made a mistake, or not made a mistake, she she got hurt, 
And her mom, Brownie, came to the rescue. And what did Princess do? As an appreciation, she gave her mom some food. The idea here is when we're thankful, it's not just enough to say thank you. You have to do something too. So when we think about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we're thankful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for everything we have. One way that we show Allah thanks is by doing the things he's asked. For example, to fast during the month of Ramadan. Very good. All right, let's see what the leaderboard's saying. Big changes. We've got G, 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 G in number five. Sorry, okay. Isa Jadar, number four. Mariam Taiba, a pretty cool cat over there. Literally cool cat with the sunglasses, number one. Zaki, number two. Fatima Ghali, number three. All right, let's see what happens on the next question. How many years did Prophet Nuh Alayhisam try to help people? Was it 50 years? Was it 550 years? Was it 750 years? Or was it 950 years? So, my question that I wanted to ask you is this, Sister Sunny. How many books do you have in the, like, that are just waiting to, like, be printed? That are already finished, that, like, are waiting, and do you remember what some of those books are? Ooh, um, we have, I think we have three or four books that are in production, meaning, like, they're at one of the stages that we were talking about. I think we have four books that are finished. Do and, we? I, and then we have, like, Another three, four, three either. or four that are in production. That's right. Yeah, I you know I there's so many happening at once, um, so it's it's hard to kind of keep track. Um, and the other thing is because um, you know we talked about the wheel, so we have, um, mashallah, we've actually completed all of those topics, and so we I think it's our second time around, or we've almost completed our second time around. So that means we have two books at least on each of these themes. Yeah, so um, I'm looking at the Dropbox right now, which, you know, I can show you, actually. So this is where all of our books, we have every one of our books that is in here. So many of them. It's pretty exciting. But Sweetness of yeah. Salah, that was sent out this month. Mm -hmm. No God But God is next month. Mercy to Mankind, that'll be the month after that. And Being a Best Friend is the month after that. And those are all finished, That's alhamdulillah, uh, which is great. And then... In addition to that, we normally have three, three or four, or four. books mm -hmm. that we're working on at any point in time, right? Because some are research, some are writing, some are illustration, so on and so yeah. forth. So the answer that we have here, almost everyone got it right, 950 years. The moral of the story here is when you're working at something, you can't just accept, expect to be successful right away. You get better over time. In fact, even with newer kids, we've been doing it for 10 years now, mashallah. Even our Ramadan camp, <laughs> we started out of my basement. Then we moved to a little office and we did it from the family room. Remember that? The family room. Sunny from the kitchen. And now we're in the tree house. I do miss you though. Maybe we can figure out a way to bring the bring you in. Um, all right. So Zucky, small change here. Zucky now overtaking. And this is tight. It's like five points. Wallahu akbar. La ilaha illallah. So close, so close. All right. Question six of 12. In out of control. How long did Amin practice karate before he tried to break the wood? Did he practice for two hours, for two weeks, three hours, or three weeks? This is very specific. I don't know if everyone's going to get this right, but. All right, so Sister Sunny, question for you. What makes Nora Kids books unique, in your opinion? Like, what are some of the things about it that make it special? Well, there are a lot of things that make it special. Um, I would say the first thing um, is our characters. Um, I think that our characters are really special and, and how we can see the same characters, um, you know, in several different stories and kind of really get to know them and, and feel like we can connect to them, we can relate to them. Um, they, they, they're like role models for us, um, for my daughter, you know, for our daughter. For, for a lot of kids, um, they, they are role models and it's someone that you could be like, oh, that I could either see myself in that or that's like my friend or someone at the masjid. I think that's my favorite yeah, part that's too a really because fun thing. Um, so the whole idea is between Amin, Shirin, Asad, and Amira, when kids read the stories, they're like, oh, you know what? That person's just like me and they're relatable. Okay, look, let's be honest. We all make mistakes. 
Forgive and forget. Some of us make more mistakes than others. But anyways, uh, <laughs> no, I'm kidding. We all, um, but truly, right? And in our books, each of the situations that they're in, they're really relatable, so that way people can connect with them. The answer was three hours, all right? Now, uh, the reason why this is really interesting, the three hours on the Kahoot, is because... Um, uh, oh, yeah, no problem. <laughs> the reason why this is valuable is because sometimes we think that, like, oh, you know what? Like, we can get good at something right away. The truth is it takes time. You can't just practice for three hours and think you're a karate master. Like, Sansei Kaito, right? It doesn't work that way. You got to practice uh, uh, and similarly, with respect to fasting, we build our self-control so that way we can make the right decision instead of the wrong decision more often. All right, so small changes here. We'll go to question number seven of 12. Our guest, Bilkis Abdul Qadir, said that her most important role was what? A, being a role model. B, being a mom. C, being an athlete. Or D, being the best player in Massachusetts state history. All right, Sunny, lightning round. I'm going to be saying different words, and I want you to say the first thing that comes to your mind. Okay. Food. Lasagna. Sports. Soccer. Color. Green. Fun. Swimming. Candy. Sour Patch Kids. Husband. I mean. Funniest person you know. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> that was a joke. Was that was just... set up. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. So, Sister Sana, there's a question that we've gotten from the chat box. Some of the people have been wondering. Um, they've been wondering, Sister Sana, um, if you could have any superpower in the whole world, which superpower would you pick and why? I would pick. Um, invisibility. Really? What would you do with that? Um, I don't know. I think that there are a lot of places that would be really cool to visit that I might not, like, be able to, like, go to. So that, I mean, I'd have to, like, sneak in somehow, but I'd be invisible. Maybe like, what kind, of, what kind of place are we talking here? <laughs> I don't know. I'm just thinking. Not like, the Norkid's treehouse, right? Like, no. you don't have to be invisible here, you know, <laughs> sneak up on the garden gnome. You know, that might be a problem. Yeah, I don't know. Just, like, you know, parts of, like, I don't know, important buildings or museums or, I don't know, historic places that are, like, off limits to most people. I think that'd be really cool. If you were, if you were invisible... You could probably go into like places of like when you go to like Mecca and Medina, there's like Masjid al Nabawi. Yeah. And there's places that are like closed off. Exactly. If you were like invisible, then you could just like go in and be like, all right, what's going on over here? What all, what all is this? You know, that'd, yeah, be, that'd be pretty be really cool. cool. Go to the White House, see what people are talking about. Yeah. A little bit, you know, oh, I don't know, you know, sneaky. sneaky, a little bit sneaky. <laughs> little bit sneaky. All right. Sneaky. She talked about her most important role as being a mom, Bill Kisa Bokadir did. And the reason why I think that's such a big deal is because um, at North Kids, one thing I care a whole lot about is loving moms. I think moms are the most important role in the entire world um, because um, sometimes moms don't get enough credit. And so um, it meant a lot for me to hear uh, Bilky say that. All right, there we go. Hannah and Mariam, now number five. We have G, 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 number three. Uh, we have Sa, number four. Can you do that? We're not doing impressions. Sa. Come on, Sunny. The people, the people want, just give the people what they want. Sana, give the people what they want. All right. <laughs> Question eight of 12. What did Ustad Mahdi say Quran can be like for your soul? Did he say lasagna, hummus, ice cream, or lentils? I think a lot of people are going to get this wrong because I think a lot of people did not tune in this morning because they may not know that on Saturday and Sundays we have two programs, and we do that on purpose. That way people who are not in the U.S. and Canada who have to join late in order to join our normal programs are able to join. Plus, learning about the Quran during the month of Ramadan, it's like peanut butter and jelly. Right? Like, it goes two peas in a pod. Sister Sana. Did you have a lot of international guests this morning? You know, um, 
Yes, we did. Alhamdulillah. 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 Sana, what dreams do you have for little kids? Um, I do have many dreams, but I just want to say how amazed and grateful I am that this tree house and this whole space, um, you know, our studio has come together and it just, it really, I know it's been so much work and it's been so many duas that have gone into this. And so, um, alhamdulillah, I feel really happy about that. Um, I feel really blessed, but I think, um, now using this that we've created and, and taking it forward and, and doing even more with it. Um, so for example, this tree house, you know, being able to reach kids all over the, the world um, through this office. And um, I wanna do more of that, you know, more programming that is relevant and, and helpful for kids and families. Um, that's one of my goals, one of my dreams. Um, I think, We've been working on this animated series as well. I, I really want to see that, inshallah, come, you know, come to uh, everyone's screens. I think that'd be amazing. Um, yeah, Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. That to mind. All right. So what did Ustad Mahdi say uh, Quran can be like for your soul? He said like yummy ice cream. All right. So specifically, he said... Um, cookie dough and chocolate chip with mint but no i'm kidding he didn't say that but he said look um we as humans we have two parts a body and our soul our body needs to be fed but our soul needs to be fed too and when we read the quran specifically some ayah that really pull on our heartstrings it's like we're eating ice cream for our soul all right very good uh, question 9 of 12. What should we say to make our actions into worship? Allahu Akbar, Ya Allah, MashaAllah, or Bismillah. Sister Sunny, do you have any questions for me? Um, what are you most excited about? For newer kids? For newer kids. Um, Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Noor Kids is 10 years old. Um, when we talk about Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, peace and blessings be on him, for the first 10 years of his prophethood, there were less than 100 Muslims. It was really challenging. There were times when they were in Shayba Abu Thawr where they didn't have enough food to eat. His wife, Lady Khadija, may Allah be pleased with her, passes away. And when his wife passes away, they have nothing. But after 10 years, they go from Mecca into Medina. When he goes to Medina, the people sing and they say, and they welcome him. The last 10 years have been really challenging. They haven't been easy. But Alhamdulillah, we've been so blessed because of all of you guys who are here. Um, and um, as we think about the future, I'm really excited about making, taking the impact that we've done and really igniting it. And the way I think about doing that is building community, bringing boys and girls and moms and dads from all across the world together, truly, to think about what could this community look like for Muslim kids around the world? How can we take this tree house and not just have it within the four walls here in Minneapolis, Minnesota, and bring it to people's homes. I get really excited about that. Um, I get really excited about um, uh, our books and being able to do more things outside of books, our puzzles and things like that. But most of all, more than anything else, I wanna make sure that Muslim kids from all across the world feel proud of who they are as Muslims and use that faith that Allah has given us to become the best versions of ourselves, become change makers. That's what I want to do. All right. Yeah, nice. Inshallah. All right. So the answer to this question, what should we say to make our actions into worship? We say Bismillah. We say Bismillah before almost anything, so long as it is halal, turns into worship. Alhamdulillah. Even this, playing a game, we said Bismillah before we started. All right.
Hussein Kids, now number four. Liana, she's a known suspect. Number five, question 10 of 12. True or false, Brother Mean beat Hassan at charades. All right, so I know that we are running out of time a little bit. Sister Sana, if you had to pick one character that you identify with the most, which character would you pick and why? Oh, you know what? Someone is asking here. They're saying, um, Brother Amin does the wah, wah, wah thing. Mm -hmm. And we're wondering yeah. if Sister Sana can give it a chance. I can, I can Sister Sana? game too. <laughs> Sister <laughs> Sana, the kids are. Look. It doesn't say that. It says it on the screen. Jake, can you show the screen? It says it on the screen here. <laughs> oh, okay. I guess it doesn't. No, it doesn't, doesn't it actually doesn't. say it. But I, I'm pretty sure that one of the kids is asking. One of the kids. There's there's uh, a lot of them. Just <laughs> No, I'm going to answer the first one. Sunny, all right, you're shot. You got this. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, so, but what was the question that I asked you? Oh, you which asked character? Which character? I'll answer that question. Um, I think, um, I, I think I want to say... I'm kind of a mixture between Amir and Shireen. A mixture between Amir and Shireen. Tell yeah. me more. I feel like I'm. I have like elements of both of their personalities and interests as well. Um, so it's hard for me to pick one. All right. So the answer is false. Amin did not beat Hassan at charades. We tied. Now, we did play rock, paper, scissors afterwards. That was a trick question. I know that. That was a trick question. I know guys. that. That's why you had to pay attention. That's why I knew that at this point there'd be a lot, but this is technically true. If you go back and watch the replay, if you have any doubt, go back and watch the replay on YouTube. And by the way, smash the subscribe button while you do it and hit the like button. But um, we tied in charades. Then after that, we played a game of rock, paper, scissors, shoot. And that's when I beat Hassan. All right. So technically. Yes. So that it, it was a true or false. Oh, oh, no. <laughs> oh man. There are kids that are like angry. They're like, no. What is, that? <laughs> is that your evil laugh right now? <laughs> <laughs> Got him. <laughs> All right. So. So we got Snuggles now. I'm kind of excited about Snuggles. Who's Snuggles? Adumi, Suli and Leah, Suha and Yusuf Ali in the top five. Say it from Wisconsin. Another Wisconsin. A lot of Wisconsiners here. Okay, okay. Question 11 of 12. What time is our programs at on Saturdays and Sundays? Is, that at, is it at 11 a.m. Central and 5.30 Central? Is it at 12 p.m. Central? Is it at 11 a.m. Central? Or is it at 12 p.m. Central and 5 p.m. Central? This is important because I think many of our viewers don't actually know that we have two programs. You're giving it away. Oh, sorry. Yep. <laughs> it's still, it's All right, we have two programs on Saturday and Sunday. And actually, last night when I said the time during the live broadcast, I think I said the wrong time. Uh, so this is extra tricky. This is extra tricky. Yeah. So it's only the few, the proud, the newer kids <laughs> who are going to get this one right. All right. So, all right. So Sister Sunny, as we're getting towards the end, um, I wanted to ask you, um, do you want to play rock, paper, scissors, shoot with me? Yes. Best of three? Okay. Wait, so... Rock, After paper, shoot? scissors, shoot. On shoot. Okay. On shoot. Okay, ready? Rock, Rock paper, scissors, scissors shoot. shoot. Rock, Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Got her. Got her. All right, that's Best one. Three. Rock, Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Gotcha. Okay, one and one. All right. Rock, Rock paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, Rock paper, paper, scissors, shoot. Got her. Two. That means I won. I think so. Man. Got her. Okay, anyways, you know, it's okay. Sunny, it's okay. You want to play again? No. Okay. Look, they got it. I'll, I'm Most sorry. Most of them got it. I'm sorry. It's okay. I forgive you. But we're playing a game still. So. All right. 
<laughs> so almost everyone got it right. So tomorrow we have Imam Wasam Sharif joining us at 11. Be there, be square. It's going to be awesome, all right? Finally, we're in the last one. Adumi's on fire. 11 in a row, snuggles. Now this is the final question, all right? Question 12 of 12, multi-select. What can you get if you contribute to the Newark Kids Ramadan Fund at newarkids.com slash donate? Can you get appreciation? Can you get a free backpack? Can you get t-shirts? Or can you get good deeds? Which among those can you get if you contribute to the Newark Kids Ramadan Fund? Which, by the way, it goes towards the cost of building out this treehouse and these cameras and the lights and all the technology and the people. And subhanAllah, it's a little, kind of tough for us to put it together. And that's why we rely on families to try to support because we make it free of charge. That way families can benefit. So please do take a look. Oh, by the way, I needed to give a shout out to some families who had contributed, and I just wanted to say thank you for that. Let me find them over here. Mm -hmm. Actually, do you want to read this out? Okay. You can read them out, all right? All right. Shout out to the following families. Irfana Muhammad family from Georgia. Um Omar and family. Mrs. Saqib and, and family. Khawaja family from Manchester. Gibran Habib from Karachi. M.T. Khan from West Midlands. Maruf and family from Mississauga, Teresa Malik and family from Washington, Aisha Muhammad from San Jose, Ms. Sophia Ali from Midlands, Abdur Rahim family from Lexington, Abedin family from Menominee, and Tijuana family from Connecticut. Did you say Menominee? I think so. Ma that... What? Who said it again? Menominee. Menama what? Menominee. Menominee. That's my new favorite place, it's Menominee. Minnesota, right? I think so. Wait, is Menominee? It's either in Minnesota or Wisconsin. Uh -oh. no, I hope it's not in Wisconsin. Oh, no. Oh, no. Menominee. Oh, it's in Wisconsin. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> okay, our new favorite city is in Wisconsin. Good news is that question was right, and actually I didn't put any points on that. So the winners of this year's first Ramadan camp game show. All right. Number three. And by the way, they're going to join the Newark Kids Ring of Honor. Sulia, Suli and Leah. Number three, Adumi. Number two, and number one, our champion for the first week. Allahu Akbar. Snuggles. All right. So if you are one of those three people, ask your parents to send us an email. What we're also going to do is we're creating literally what's called a ring of honor. And so in our treehouse, we're going to be hopefully getting photos of you with your parents' permission, putting you there. So that way you will forever be a part of the Newark Kids treehouse. With that, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I want to thank you again so much for joining us today. Um, it was such a treat. You got a chance to meet my wife. Alhamdulillah. One of the biggest blessings of my entire life. Um, we had a lot of fun, um, and tomorrow, inshallah, in the morning, we have Imam Wasam Sharif, which is going to be great. Imam Wasam is fantabulous, exbialidocious. And in the evening, we're meeting someone named Yasmin Al-Hadi, who's a comedian, comedian, all right? She's a comedian. It's going to be great. So she's funnier than you? So many people are funnier than me. She's going to be hilarious. You guys are going to love it. All right. So with that, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, inshallah, we will see you tomorrow. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Goodbye, everyone.